tech and stuff then do check out our new channel Technomera. Link on the screen and description box below. At first, choose your logo. Remember that it should be a white logo on a black background. Now double click on the logo and scale it down a bit. This much big is okay for me. Now expand the logo duration to up to 9 or 10 seconds. Once this is done, export this into a video with the best quality possible. Now it's time for the title, but it is optional if you want to add a title or not. Let's create a title. Simply create a white color title on a black background with your custom text. Apply the same steps that we have did with the logo on the title too. And then export the title into a video too. Ok now to move further, you have to download these files. So simply head over to the link in the description box below. And then once the files are downloaded, simply export them into Filmora with the logo and the title video. Now drag the logo video on the second track and then take any of the fire orb and put it below the logo. Let's trim the logo to the size of the fire orb. Now double click on the logo and into the compositing change the blending mode to darken. Now you can see the fire inside the logo. Well I'm gonna increase the size of the fire orb so that it will fill perfectly our logo. Hmm, it looks perfect now. Let's play to check. Well everything seems fine to me. So now I'm gonna export this into a video. Ok now do the same thing with the title too that we have just did with the logo and also export it into a video. Once everything is done, simply import both file logo and the title into the Filmora. Ok now, since we have made the logo with the red fire orb, so now we will use the red flame background. So simply drag the red flame background into the main timeline. And now put the fire logo above it. Now we have to overlay the logo so that we won't see this black background here. So simply go to the logo composition and change it to a screen. Now go to the point where our flames disperse. And then drag the start point of the logo to there. Well in my case the logo is quite big. So I'm gonna scale it down a bit. This much is fine I guess. Now to make the intro effect. Let's add the transition here. I will use the dissolve transition. So let's put it into the logo. Now decrease the transition duration to one third of the original length. So now if I play it then you will see that it looks much better. Well, if you want, you can add other transitions too. But I'm gonna stick with the dissolve here because it gives an effect of coming out of the flame. Okay, now to make the intro more appealing, let's add a zoom effect to the logo. Simply right click on the logo and then go to the crop and zoom. And then into the pan and zoom, click on the inner pan and then make it slightly bigger than its original size. You can choose this by your preference. I'm going with this much. Now if we play it then it gives us a subtle zoom effect which looks cool to be honest. Now our logo is done. So let's add the title too. In this background audio we hear a boom effect here. So let's add the title from this position. Now do the same stuff that we have done with the logo on the title. And then finally add a slight crop and zoom to it. So now comes the final final part. Let's add a dissolve transition in the end of the both the three clips and adjust their duration to the same size. And now our intro is completed. So guys what are your thoughts on this video let me know in the comment section below and if you think that this video is worthwhile then hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that I can able to bring amazing videos just like this for you. Till then see you later.